to remind our readers, that's Alexander Lukashenko, the longtime leader of Belarus. And, and uh, Svetlana, I definitely want to get to a little bit more about your personal and political history. But first, let's talk about the Russian troops that are positioned now in Belarus. What do you know about how many are currently there? And do you believe that this could become a permanent presence of Russian military forces in Belarus? Uh I can't say anything about the quantity of this uh, uh, of Russian forces on our territory because they are rotating all the time um, and uh, everything is in, in a deep secret. Uh, but I think that uh, at the moment our country is uh, uh, de facto under military uh, occupation of, of Russian Federation. Um, because Lukashenko, uh, for sure, Lukashenko doesn't control Russian troops. He can't provide uh, our country with uh, with uh, uh, sovereignty. Because if it's uh, necessary for President of Russia, he uh, could easily make Lukashenko to um, send Belarusian troops to Ukrainian territory. Uh, so it's uh, for ordinary Belarusians, we see how uh, Russian military officers are working in our uh, cities. And uh, when uh, Ukrainian people are asking us, why don't you protest against this? You know, we explain that it's like uh, living in Gulag. People disagree with this war. People disagree with the presence of uh, uh, Russian military troops on our land, but the cost of the protest is uh, too high because KGB raids apartment and the rest people uh, who criticize in the war. Even the post and Instagram can cost you years in prison. Uh, in Babruisk, a city of in Eastern Belarus, the school teacher was detained for a blue yellow ribbon in her head just during the lesson. Uh, so it's um, uh, it's difficult to protest, but we uh, see the presence of uh, uh, military troops on our territory, and of course we demand these troops to leave our country. And I'm sure that after uh, uh, Ukrainians will win, uh, they fight, they will help us to um, get rid of these uh, Russian troops from our territory. I'd like to talk about these reports that Belarus itself could send Belarusian troops into Ukraine in support of Russia. I see that uh, you called on those troops not to be involved in the conflict in Ukraine, saying that our Belarusian soldiers understand that Ukrainians are our brothers and sisters, and we don't want to fight against them. Do you think that message is heard, and do you have any insight into whether or not this is actually going to happen? Of course, it's clear that Belarus is already involved in this war uh, from the very first day when uh, Lukashenko allowed Russian troops to use our territory to bomb Ukraine. So de facto Belarus is already involved and uh, Belarusian regime is a co-aggressor. However, uh, there is a huge uh, opposition to war among ordinary Belarusians, among supporters of changes and even the military. As we know, uh, the Belarus army refuses to go to Ukraine despite pressure and threats. Um, two weeks ago, the Belarus army was supposed to join uh, Russian troops, but something went wrong. And uh, since the very first day of, of the war, we uh, worked with officers, with moms of soldiers, explaining why Belarus should, shouldn't get involved in this war. We uh, uh, also explained what to do in case uh, soldiers will be forced to cross the border, how to surrender to Ukrainian military. Uh, I really don't know if it happens, uh, but uh, you know, Belarusians uh, doing all possible to prevent it. So I, Linda, uh, I mm -hmm. 